Theme of Inside the Havley The theme in a story is its underlying message, or big idea. In other words, what critical belief about life is the author trying to convey in the writing of a novel, play, short story or poem? Inside the Havley depicts the life of a woman trapped in traditions and a desire to free herself from them. Hence, the major themes of the novel are surrender and compromise. The Havley represents the silence of the women who strictly follow Purdue and other rules of Rajput families. Jeeta, the heroine of the novel is an educated girl born and brought in modern Bombay. She marries Ajay, a lecturer at Udaipur University. Ajay belongs to a traditional Rajput family of the state living in ancient Havli with 300 years of its past glory. G2 is not happy with the life inside the Havli. She finds herself trapped in the traditional value system. The women in the Havli are passive sufferers. They live life as per the traditional rules and taboos of the Havli. Jeeta, who is brought up at Bombay in an atmosphere where men and women can mingle freely, cannot bear the orthodox system and values of the Havli. She feels that the Purda system is a kind of cruelty against women. Jeeta tells Ajay that he should leave the Havli and get job in Delhi. When Ajay is appointed as the head of the department at Udaipur University, he tells Jeeta that he cannot leave Udaipur and he has to take care of his parents also. Jeeta knows it well that it is impossible for Ajay to leave the Havli and its life. Slowly, Jeetu accepts Ajay's decision and also the life inside the Havli willingly. She knows the strong bond of Ajay with the Havli. By the time she finds that women are not humiliated but respected. They call each other with due respect. Politeness, courtesy and decorum are the part of the life in Havli. Jeeta sacrifices her freedom for the domestic life but she believes that people should move with the time. Jeeta desires to bring changes in the Havli. Her first step towards it is sending Sita, the servant's daughter, to school. The second step is starting classes for maid servants and the servants of the neighboring Havlis. There is protest and criticism but she succeeds as the maid servants and other women come to her classes for learning. No one in the Havli had thought of educating servants' children. Servants and relatives oppose Jeeta's decision but her father-in-law supports her. He supports Jeeta saying that people of the Havli must change with time. Jeeta feels happy in the Havli. Sita's education helps her in getting an educated young man, Sjivaram, as her husband. Instead of becoming a servant, Sita goes to a farmer family with good income. Jeeta comes to know that family honor should be preserved. She finds that her father-in-law was concerned about her. He often inquires about her health. He advises the maid servants to provide her comforts and space required. Her mother-in-law wants to mold Jeeta as per the Havli's rules. But she is very kind towards Jeeta. She protects Jeeta when Jeeta is criticized for starting classes for servants. Jeeta notices the kind behavior of her in-laws and she becomes interested in Havli's culture and reputation. She wishes to protect Havli's dignity. Jeeta does not accept Vijay Bayisa's engagement with the Singh. She believes it wrong to marry her daughter at an early age. She protests very boldly saying that she would not give permission for a child marriage. Jeeta's father-in-law convinces Jeeta of the proposal of the Singh. He tells her to think of the girl's marriage at the proper time. He tells her that Vijay can continue her studies after her engagement to the Singh. Jeeta understands that the Singh is quite handsome and educated. He comes from a rich family and is going to London for further studies. At the end of the novel Jeeta accepts the proposal. However, it is to be noted that she is not forced to accept the proposal. Jeeta begins to understand the importance of Havli's culture. Jeeta has to accept the traditions of the Havli. When her father-in-law dies, 
Her mother-in-law says to Jita don't cry, Binajai. You are now the mistress of this Havli. You can't forget your traditions in its sorrow. Jita knows that her father-in-law was truly a great man. He believed in traditions but he was equally tolerant. It was a tradition for him to be kind and generous. Jita promises her mother-in-law that she would live in the Havli and preserve the traditions and values of the Havli. At the end of the novel, Jita says that she is a willing prisoner in the Havli. She realizes that Havli has given her love. She says that her children must grow in the Havli and learn to respect the Havli and its traditions and dignity. She comes to know that the traditions of the Havli have cultural values. Jitu accepts her role with dignity assuring that she would do her best to maintain the dignity of the Havli. She surrenders to the rules and regulations of the Havli. She is ready to adjust and she is successful in adjusting with the traditions of the Havli. Of course, Jita's step to educate the servants is a step of bringing modernity and change in the Havli. It suggests that the new ideas will prevail in the Havli without harming the honor and reputation of the Havli. Jita succeeds in breaking the silence of the Havli by transforming the orthodox customs of the Havli. She surrenders herself to the love of the in-laws and her husband. She compromises to bring constructive and sophisticated changes in the Havli.